Mm. Oh, yeah. This that's is much not, better. That's not doing it for me, friend. I just like my meat. Oh, the top. I'm weak. Staining. My teeth are weak. I won't poop for like five days. Yeah. Right? It's, it's kind of awesome. What's going on, Fire Team? Welcome to Shift Fire, the exploration and appreciation of all things military culture. My name is Cameron Fath, one of your hosts and former Army Ranger. With me, as always, the malevolent, the extremely inconvenient, <laughs> Israel Wright, former Green Beret. Today we're going to do an episode of All Eight Up, where Cameron and I get to explore the plethora, the plethora, let say that one more time, the plethora of MREs from around the world. Cameron, what is an MRE? MRE stands for Meals Ready to Eat. They are the issued rations that the military gives their soldiers to sustain them through combat operations. Today, we are gonna talk about chili. We're gonna be continuing our series of comparing military style MREs with backpacking meals. All of them take very little preparation. You just need a little bit of water. Maybe for the civilian side, you need some heated up water. Boiling. Boiling, yeah. There's little variations in between uh, amount of calories, lack of side dishes or presence of side dishes. Yes. Depending on how you feel about that, lack or presence of Tabasco sauce. Mm -hmm. Before we dive in, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you can stay up on the latest and greatest from all things Shift Fire. Also, check out the brand new All 8 Up Shift Fire t-shirt. All our t-shirts are limited run, so get yours before they're all gone. You ready? Let's do it. Let's dive in. Take out your packet of candy. Oh. Eat that. Eat that later. <laughs> That's not candy. I'm gonna err on the side of less water. That's what I. I like the. You thick, like it a little hard. I like a little thick consistency. It's chilly so. though. All right. So we have the MRE Star, which is military but also able to be purchased by civilians. Right, there's, so there's kind of two MREs that you'll see. There's the ones that are issued by the DOD, which you're not allowed to sell in the civilian yeah, world. Technically, you will find them on eBay and stuff. Most military issue equipment, especially perishable, it's once it's issued, it either needs to be consumed or destroyed. Consumed but, and destroyed is the name of my heavy metal band. That mine too. That's crazy. Oh, it's man. a good name. That's Wait, a were great you on stage name. on Tuesday night? That was you. That was me. You dude. have a heavy makeup on. Actually. Yes, I did. My favorite vanilla pound cake. Oh, vanilla pound cake. We got oatmeal cookie. We got tortillas, okay. and we got the fruit and nut mix. Ooh, jalapeno cheese spread. Nice. Ding, ding, ding. We got a winner. I love chili. Gotta wait for this one to start screaming at me before I put it down. There she goes. She's screaming. There she goes. Oh, we Dude, talk. this thing goes, How, is, how come yours is just Shit, like going, Jesus man? Jesus Christ. I don't know. Well, I fold mine up, so mine's all contained well within. Like, this one is potential MRE bomb. And you know, for those of you that have never done it, you can... Make an explosive out of an MRE. Now, it's not like a lethal explosive, but you can get these suckers to pop. That chemical reaction, man. This oh, one, look, an oatmeal cookie. Extremely violent. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Even in the annals of MRE history, this one does not rate very high. I've had better. You know what? I agree with you. But what I do like are vanilla pound cakes. Oh, man, pound cakes. Yeah, these are a guilty pleasure. Like, when I say I hate MREs, 98% true. I happen to have, for no apparent reason, some chunky peanut butter from another MRE, all right? I'm you carry gonna, that around with you. I'm gonna take some of the peanut butter. Okay. I'm gonna put it onto the oatmeal cookie. Okay. Just as an experiment. I called that Ranger School Cookbook when I was going mm. through Ranger School. When man. you just kind of make it up on the fly. So you can actually take these ingredients and make them work for you. So if you guys have your own Ranger School Cookbook recipes, share them in the comment section or let us know if you wanna see an episode on the Ranger School cookbook. Yeah, maybe yes. we can make up our own. Maybe we could take a bunch of ingredients and mix them all together. Let us know if you'd like to see that in future episodes of All Absolutely, Up. Absolutely, man. I'm ready to eat some chili. Yeah, some vegetable chili. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're like, I'm trying not to be biased, okay? You're veggie chili. I just like my meat. Oh, the tots. I'm weak. Staining. My teeth are weak. I need the power of a knife. It smells it good. It smells good. And you know, I actually have a really deep love for MRE chili with beans just because when you go on your FTX you you get to choose your own MRE and by choose you have to fight with people to get the ones you want. Really? And like there's this whole we called it an MRE draft in the beginning. <laughs> MRE draft. And they're like, oh yeah we got everyone's like fighting for this stack of MREs. Like it, like crazy people. <laughs> and uh, and then I would always make sure that I drafted first round 
a chili with beans because at the end of your patrols you always get a hot dog X. Mm -hmm. So they make you hot dog, they cook you hot dogs, and I would literally carry a chili with bean MRE to the very last day so I could have chili cheese dogs. That's awesome, man. That actually yes. sounds really good. Very salty. How do you like a chili? I like it thick and chunky, man. Yeah. Creamy. I like like when the ground beef crumbles are like this big. Yes. So for you folks who need a reminder, we have a rating system that we like to use here on All 8 Up. It goes from one, which is the worst, mm -hmm. to five, which is the best. One is? Foobar. Foobar. Effed up beyond all recognition. Two would be a soup sandwich. Yes, very messy. No one likes that. Yep. Three is meat standard. Yep. Super average. Super average. A strong average. decent, as some would say. Mm. Number four is? High speed. High speed, very high speed. Mm -hmm. And number five would be exceeds all standard. Promote ahead of peers. Promote ahead of peers. I love Absolutely. that part. Promote, Promote ahead of peers. Yeah. You gotta add that in. So this definitely meets, a, it actually, it meets standard, right? It's super average. It's exactly what MRE should taste like. If I had to describe it in a facial expression, it's just like. This one, I'm, I'm really not liking this. Because it's, it's runny. vegetarian, man. It doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. I'm looking at beans and corn and something that looks like meat. But if it's vegetarian, I don't know. That's definitely a foobar. That's a foobar right That's there. a That's foobar. A I'll like, give that a is, one. Like this is soup. This isn't chili. Yeah. Even though it's a soup sandwich, it's foobar. It's a foobar yeah. soup okay, sandwich. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Mm. Oh yeah. This that's is much not, better. That's not doing it for me, friend. Oh, I like the creamy consistency, the thick and chunky creamy consistency. You I ever mean, like, this is gonna sound weird, but you ever suck on a penny when you're a child? I have, yeah, the metallic taste. Okay, you ever like drink blood? Wait, by what? accident? Like by accident, a, of if you get like by a, accident. Come like on. if you get a cut and you're like, you know, you put a cut in your mouth and you're just like, yeah. mm, you know that really coppery taste? And then you like, yeah, and then you keep sucking it, you're like, I can do this forever. Yeah, yeah, this is good, I get it now. I get it with all the vamps and stuff. But uh, yeah, this tastes like blood. Yeah, the MRE Star, the vegetarian chili, not good. not good. This is the dressed down one from the clear bag. This one's pretty solid. That one's solid. Folks, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do the raisin and nut mix. I've, had, I've eaten enough nuts in my life and, uh, and raisins too. You had what? Nothing. Okay, you ready for this uh, yeah. Alpine meal? Very excited, very excited for the Alpine air meal. How does it look? How's the consistency? Okay. It looks, it might be a it's little- very chunky. It's you think very a little dry? Chunky. Might be a little dry. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, not you enough put water. No, you oh, put no no. water it yeah. tastes more like chili. It does taste right, very chunky, but you're right, it's a little dry. It is a little <laughs> dry, right? I didn't put enough water in there. That's okay. So Lots to learn, folks. Measure twice, cut once. Measure twice, yeah. cut once. The flavor's really good. The flavor's like, chili, like, it's chili flavor. Maybe the civilian market, uh, camping meals, Put a little more time and effort into the flavoring. Yes. You know, check it out, so measure it out. No, I definitely think so. Plus this one, as far as calories, like you're getting your gains with this one for yeah. sure. I would rate this a solid, I mean, e given the dryness, obviously not doing enough water, but I would rate this, uh, this is definitely high speed, this is a four. Yeah, I would 100% uh, agree with you, man. These, uh, I feel like we're gonna start seeing a trend <laughs> uh, the, uh, the hikers' backpacking meals are going to take the cake. For those that have the option, I mean, you can go out maybe to the surplus store, mm -hmm. get a uh, dressed down MRE or an MRE star. What's, advantage, what's the advantage or disadvantage of taking that out to the field? So I've noticed since these are really like thin, they're easily packable. Okay. But then the disadvantage of that is you need something that can superheat water. So then that yes. space is taken up with a jet boil yep. and fuel source sure. and whatnot. But uh, yeah, but then in the regular MREs, you can, you know, I mean, there are a lot of people field strip them. So before they go out, take the air out. Yeah, take the air out, take all the th all the junk that you know you're not gonna eat and then just re-tape it back up and then that takes up space and less weight. So you yeah. can do that. What's more valuable to you? Is, it your, is your nutrients more value to you? Is you know carrying less weight more value to you? I think that's where it comes down to. Not for nothing, I mean, an MRE that has some side dishes and stuff like yeah. that is just kind of a cool novelty. Not that you can't also go and buy separately little snack and use with- Yeah, uh, like you can carry yeah, granola or protein yeah. bars yeah. or some, you know. It's just all kind of, it comes in one, yeah, dried fruit, man, I'm that big. I mangoes. Like, yeah. Mang dried mangoes. Mangoes sponsor our channel. Yes. You know, just generally mangoes. One thing I can say, if you eat too many MREs, maybe you don't need to go to the bathroom for As a often. couple of weeks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I won't poop for like five days. Yeah. It's, it's 
kind of awesome. These yeah. are a little easier on the guts. So I would say on the so. tummy, yeah, I would yeah. say so, yeah. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for this episode of All Aid Up. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so you can stay up on the latest and greatest from Shift Fire. Get down in the comment section, let us know what MREs you want to see featured on future episodes. And finally, make sure you guys go down in the description and check out the Shift Fire merchandise yeah. that's available for you to purchase. All Shift Fire merchandise is a limited run, so please act now before you miss your shot. As always, Fire Team, stay sexy. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah!